Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to install the Kali Linux 2023.3 version on VMware Workstation. So let's first download the VMware VMware Workstation player. Okay, download. And you have to click on this first link, download VMware Workstation player. And uh, if you scroll down, you will see these two options. The first one is try Workstation 17 player for Windows or try Workstation 17 player for Linux. So we'll go with the Workstation 17 player for Windows. Click on download now. And I have already downloaded, so let me cancel it. Uh, let's go to the downloads folder. And here you guys can see the VMware player application. Double click on it. Yes. Let's click on next. Uh, okay, I accept terms in the license agreement. Click on next. Next. Add VMware Workstation console in tools into the system path. Yes. Click on next next and i'm okay with this configuration like create a shortcut on desktop and start menu program folder okay next and let's install this it will take some time so let's wait okay it's completed let's click on finish so now we have installed the vmware workstation 17 player now we have to download the Kali Linux ISO image, right? So for that matter, we have to go to the site that is Kali download, okay? Click on this get Kali link. Oh, it is from the Kali.org. Click on that. Let me close this tab. Uh, choose your platform. So we have two options. First one is installer images. Second one is virtual machines. And they both are recommended and if you scroll down you guys can also install the Kali purple okay so we'll go with the installer image complete offline installation with customization so you have to click here and it will download it so it is downloading let me cancel it because I have already downloaded this iso image this is 2023.3 installer image let me show you in this folder kali folder in downloads i have my kali linux iso file so what i will do i will create a new virtual machine so we'll select this option i will install the operating system letter this virtual machine will be created with the blank hard disk okay click on next it's kali you know the guest operating system is kali and now we have to select the version and version is very important okay, so we'll select the debian 64 uh let me find it you have to scroll up for debian 64 uh, so I'm going to select the Debian 11 64 bit. It's the latest version. So we'll go with it. Click on next and let me change the location. I have already created a folder. So let's click on this Kali OS and click on OK. Uh, click on next. So now we have to allocate the disk size. 20 GB is sufficient okay and we are going to select this split virtual disk into multiple files because it will be easier for us to move the virtual machine to another computer okay uh, let's click on next now it's ready to create a virtual machine let me customize the hardware and uh, let me select 4 gb okay uh, 4 GB RAM and processor will be two cores. You guys can choose 2 GB as well for memory and one CPU core. 
click on display and select accelerate 3d okay now we are done with the configuration click on close and let's click on finish okay so i didn't uh, give it a name so let me right click on it go to the settings and click on options and here you can change the virtual machine name so let me do it really quick that is kali okay click on ok now the name is changed let's click on settings click on cd and now then we have to select the iso image click on browse Select the ISO image that we have downloaded. Open it. Okay. So let me quickly show you the settings. So we are using the 4 GB RAM, 2 CPU cores, and we have allocated 20 GB of hard disk. And we have already selected the ISO image. Okay. And now we are ready to start our virtual machine so let's click on this play virtual machine so i'm gonna go with the graphical install select a language that is english continue uh, select your location so I'm from India let me select India click on continue configure the keyboard American English I am happy with it continue Now it is loading additional components. Now it is configuring the network. Okay, so the host name will be Kali. Let's click on continue. Domain name, we don't have domain name. So let's click on continue. full name of the user so we'll write my name that is afshan continue username of your account afshan okay now we have to create a password click on continue I'm going to select uh, guided use entire disk click on continue click on continue all files in one partition recommended for new user so let's click on continue finish partitioning and write changes to a disk okay click on continue uh, so let's select yes to write the changes to the disk uh, click on continue now it is installing the base system let's wait now it is configuring the package manager now it is installing the softwares now there is a slide for software selection and you have to select the desktop environment uh, and the kali's default desktop environment is also selected by default so i'm going to go with the default configuration let's click on continue 
Now it is retrieving piles. Uh, now it is installing the grub boot loader. So select yes and let's continue. Enter device manually. Uh, select the SDA and click on continue. Okay, finish the installation. Okay, let's click on continue. Okay, now it is installed. Let me write my username. Okay, I just love the GUI interface. So this is how you guys can install the Kali Linux 2023.3 version on VMware. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you like it. If you did then please share this video with your friends and your colleagues. And make sure that you guys are subscribing to my YouTube channel. We'll see you in my next video. Till then take care and keep learning. Bye bye.